I could give you me, me. the me that we both need. So we are at a place near Chhatwara. ये कैमरा पेट्रोल पेट्रोल डीजल नहीं डालते हो ना काय के लिए रोड देखने के लिए ये दोस्त रिकॉर्ड करने के लिए चीजों को बस रिकॉर्डिंग करने के लिए अच्छा अच्छा जो हाँ बस 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 तो राइट नाउ वी आर एट चाड़वाड़ा and uh, from here it's uh, approximately 66 kilometers towards this direction right now the railway crossing is uh, closed i guess after this train it will be open and then we'll be leaving towards this side a totally new road for me i have never been to this road let's see What kind of stuff we get to see here today? I could give you me, me, the me that we both need, the need that keeps us free, the free that we believe, believe in something more, the more that we adore, adore the way you used to smile before you close the door, adore the never open, an open frame of mind, a mind in constant battle, never let it fall behind, behind the reasons lie, a lie that broke apart, a part of me that's lost forever, forever in my heart, a heart that's slowly beating, a beating path escaped, escape the false and unconvincing separated fate, a faith that paints and fix and pictures, all these pieces frozen, frozen from the cold and lonely dark spaces you left open An open mind slowly shut in with the clock ticking Ticking off dirt and getting hot dogs frostbitten Bitten flesh bleeding, drunk dizzy breastfeeding Feeding off your vibes won't be easy while my head's sleeping I'm sleeping in the bottle of emotions that you feel with the sea A long time ago, hoping it would get to me Get to me, I never let it, I let it fade Fade the black, black magic and angels playing charades It goes, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh lord You can't get any lower when you're laying on the floor Like, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh lord You never get enough because you're always wanting more It goes, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh lord You can't get any lower when you're laying on the floor Like, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh lord Never get enough because you're always wanting more. Then you live within your means. Don't spend it all. It would have took, take the dive. Don't pretend to fall. Falling fast, faster. Speed it up. I've been away, away from here. Hear me real, really not containing fear. Feel this, no. I hope you hear this, this here though. Powerful, but b -b moving real slow. Slow the gear go. Gear towards speaking up. If you think enough is enough, that's the key. The key to the cuff. Cuff the need from the wind. Wind it down the road again, again. I fake the hit. hit it hard and then I hold it in In between the lines, lines in between the meaning Meaning that the lines between the merely screams of people dreaming And I dreamt most of it on purpose, see A worker beast singing circularly, urgently But it was purposely it's worthless Let's Wish work. I was told more More times than on my back feels good on the cold floor It goes, oh my, oh my, oh my God, oh Lord You can't get any lower when you're laying on the floor Like, oh my, oh my, oh my God, oh Lord You'll never get it up because you're always wanting more Like, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh lord You can't get any lower when you're laying on the floor Like, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh lord You'll never get it up because you're always wanting more I got my cigarette lit as I walk to the corner alone I got my swagger on, left on the motion at home This is my heartbeat through music and madness Mad at the world, but it ain't so bad, is it? So when you smiles like your khakis and corner boys This is the aftermath the mayhem a boy destroys so What a view, what a view Wow Paritavas Chandra Ji and Paras If you are watching this <laughs> Suck it up losers You should have come today Because you're always wanting more Like, oh my, my 
low Like oh my, oh my, oh my God, my Lord Like oh my, my Lord Like oh my, oh my, oh my God, my Lord Like oh my, my Lord Like oh my, oh my, oh my God, my Lord Like oh my, my Lord Like oh my, oh my, oh my God, my Lord I'm really happy at the decision of taking this particular bike for this track as had it been my Continental GT or for that matter KTM Duke or any other bike it would have been really difficult to cross many of the undulations on this particular track. The bike weighs around 125kg, the engine generates approximately 14.6 bhp and that's sufficient enough to take you along such kind of uh, dirt track or for that matter mountainous route. Along with those attributes, this particular engine is really very frugal, it returns me approximately 45 km to a litre and while in jungle if you are having a limited amount of fuel then that really helps. Believe me if you are having a Duke or for that matter any other bike which consumes lot of petrol it would be difficult for you to explore much. What a day man, what a day. But then there is a negative aspect of this particular engine too. What happens is like as good as it can be in the jungle, it's really equally pathetic on highways. Basically it's a commuter bikes engine and that restricts its performance in terms of high speed. Let's leave the nerdy talk for some other time. We have finally reached the temple. Take a look at this majestic place now. It's a really very well kept temple I must say. For a place which is really pretty uninhabited compared to the city of a that matter village. I was a little worried as all that white sand or for that matter the salt deposit that you are seeing that's uh, basically pretty marshy and what happens is like uh, when there is high tide it becomes almost impossible to cross that. Anyway we got lucky and we are here right now. So I have completed my brief lunch, <coughs> I brought my biscuit so I am partially full I don't really need lunch right now and on Arka there is a trouble that uh, it's not really starting I guess uh, there is some sort of short circuit or something somewhere I'll be either fixing that or I'll be push starting it people have been making tiny pagodas over here you can see it let's go to this side's extreme let me show you guys what is there this side and wild and wacky there is miles and miles of this white seat and this amazing landscape In this temple there are few very friendly dogs too I'm trying to mark this place but somehow I'm not really able to mark it. Let me show you. This place was really amazing. Unlike other temples, dogs were allowed inside and they were quite friendly. I guess they were habituated to newer visitors who would be turning up here very frequently from the local villages. Also there were a certain dwelling kind of a structure, I guess that was for the caretaker of this particular temple. Then uh, on a raised platform there was two tiny temples inside which I guess dogs were allowed or I guess due to absence of any human beings over here they have made it their home. Uh, I took a moment off uh, and I didn't really go inside the temple because I was wearing my shoes and I was really very tired to take them off so I just took a view outside the temple and behind it and I guess it needed a little care obviously as you can see it over here I was amazed anyway after a little walk around I decided to head Not back home as soon as the battery on the bike really drained out and it would be difficult to see anything beyond maybe 6 pm or something so I decided to pack my bag and head back home yes before it's too late it's better to start our motorcycle which is not really starting 
and get to the track back to our home. I'm really tired right now. So let's pack our bags. One eternity later. <clears throat> so we have packed our bags. Now it's time to put on our helmet. Put on my helmet to be precise because I don't really have a team today. And I really miss them because they would be missing this place too. As soon as I upload this awesome location. So let's go. I tried to troubleshoot the problem on my bike with the minimal tool that I have brought myself. However, I couldn't really find the exact problem with the bike and soon I decided to push start it. I'm not really a fan of this particular method of starting a bike, but we don't really have any other option. Since we are at the top of the incline, all we need to do is just give it a slight push and then it will start rolling and once that's done, we'll just put it into gear and it will hopefully start. Luckily, it didn't throw any tantrums and as soon as I put it into gear, it started. So be it folks, that was an awesome exploration trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next time, stay tuned, build it, ride it.